How annoying is it when you're sitting outside trying to enjoy the beautiful weather and you knock over your drink? Well, the solution for that is a drink stand. The first step on making these stands is to make this rope twist. If you watch the video on the making of the dies to make this rope twist, you know, I was having trouble with this whirly gig rotating, flipping over when I was really putting the pressure to it. So I had this piece of scrap tubing here. It's actually part of an old plow. I had this piece laying around and I realized I could bolt it on here through this old hole. That should keep the thing from flipping over on me. To make this thing a little more useful, I welded in a piece of dom and added on a one inch nut to this. That way I can use an inch and a half wrench to turn this thing. I think I'd be more than powerful enough, hopefully. The big reason I went with a nut like this is it has a hole in it and it'll actually go over all three rods. So if for some reason I need the twist to end a ways from the end of the three rods, then it can go out that nut and I'm not near as limited. Hey. got some plating and some tubing and some whatnot all stacked up here. I think it's the right height. That way I can make the bend on the end of this twist. And to separate it, I'm actually going to use my chisel that I made back in 1992 in high school in metals class. Can't believe I still have this thing. to close up the gap on the front of this horseshoe a little bit. The size zero horseshoes that I buy are that wide and a drink will slide right out of that, no problem. So I decided the easiest way to solve that problem is just to close it up more. So I use this piece of shaft, put it here in the horseshoe, and just beat it around. Smash my finger. First thing I'm going to do is weld this disc onto the stem. It's a lot easier to do when it's just the stem. Uh, I can hold that steady.
Next thing we'll do is put the horseshoes together. For that, I made this little triangle piece to go in the middle because I don't want the horseshoes to lay flat. I want them to actually sit on the outer edge of that curve. That way, if it's sitting on uneven ground or an uneven spot on the deck, the three points will actually help even it back out, keep it from rocking. Next step is to bend these little L's out of rod. I need to come up with a little better way to do that if I'm gonna make these things like in mass production sometime, but since I just have an order for four of these, this will work for now. And there's the project, all welded together. I need to take a file to it, knock off all those stupid little welder berries. I really should probably use a TIG welder to do this, but I don't have a TIG welder. And then of course we're gonna paint it. That outside temperature is dropping fast. It was 26 when I came out here. Man. Shop's cooling off a little bit too. It was 51 when I came out here too, so. Whee, I didn't know it was gonna get this cold. Guess it's the perfect time to sit outside and enjoy the 40 mile an hour wind and try these things out.